Uh, now comes the tough question. Anyone answered becomes uh, a differentiator with the others. See, doctor, black eye, it can occur because of two reasons. If I hit in your eye, there can be an orbital fracture and there is a bleeding and black eye. One reason. Second reason is, if I had a head injury, at the time of head injury, my anterocranial fossa got injured. And that lead to seepage of the blood and that also can lead to black eye. How do you differentiate these two types of the black eye is the important question. <coughs> Suppose if it is anterior cranial fossa leading to the black eye instead of an orbital, local orbital injury, then the extravasated blood is limited sharply by the palpable fascia of the orbital margin. And anterocranial fossa fracture may, the discoloration is more purplish right from the commencement, whereas orbital fracture ka black eye is beefy red right from the beginning. Now in the black eye, there is a conjunctival hemorrhage and it is in the proper conjunctiva, whereas the bleeding which occur because of the anterocranial fossa injury will be typically subconjunctival in uh, location. So black eye with a subconjunctival hemorrhage means it is not local orbital injury, it is the anterior cranial fossa injury. Okay, doctor. So, if you answered it wrong, no issue. Because I don't think, because I gave to two teachers, eminent teachers. One answered it as C, other answered it as B. So, at the level of teachers only, uh, we can, uh, we may not be sometimes very sure. Both of them are MS gel surgery. So, doctor, let me tell you that uh, the answer is the, uh, sorry, one answered A, other answered C, but A is the correct answer. Fracture of the floor and anterocranial fossa. Now, pain on passive stretching, that is what you typically find in the case of the compartment syndrome. Oh, fast ultrasound. Many times we discussed in the Sunday exam and uh, emergency abdominal trauma may we use the focused abdominal sonographic assessment, fast. Newer peritoneum, how do you diagnose? At least the examiner didn't ask lateral decubitus, right lateral decubitus, left lateral decubitus, simply plain radiograph is sufficient. Huh? No. Huh? Between B and C, B becomes the correct answer. You mean C T is more sensitive? Mm, I don't think we'll uh, once more recheck on that. Hmm? Tension pneumothorax is the most dangerous type. And what is most dangerous type of catheter? It is a male meatal catheter which is typically curved. Is the one which is considered to be more uh, dangerous in nature. Where do you use diagnostic peritoneal lavage or paracentesis also called? You like to answer ascites or peritonitis? Huh? You like to say peritonitis? To differentiate between secondary bacterial peritonitis and spontaneous peritonitis, I agree. But to also differentiate transudative, exudative, uh, ascites also we use the uh, paracentesis, which is also called diagnostic peritoneal lavage only, no? C or D, let us see what examiner has uh, in his uh, basket. Now, with regard to penile cancers, if there is an inguinal lymph node involvement, how do you want to basically treat? Inguinal lymphadenopathy, if it is there, it can be due to either infection or neoplasm, doctor. Now, if the lymph node is for three or more weeks, after the removal of the primary lesion of the penis, then bilateral inguinal lymph node dissection is the one which you need to basically perform. And uh, there is regional lymph node metastasis without distant spread. Then what do you want to do? 
bilateral inguinal lymph node dissection after penile amputation. Sometimes you can do radiation therapy as an alternative to the lymph node dissection. But anyway, there is no role for chemotherapy. So that is the reason chemotherapy with radiotherapy is not the standard treatment. Surgery is the treatment. Inguinal lymph node dissection is the treatment. Sometimes you can replace it with radiotherapy. Not chemo radio. So uh, option D becomes the except. This is a really good question. Herceptin, one monoclonal antibody. Without that, there is no question. Infliximab, uh, etc., etc. So Herceptin in breast cancer. Capsule endoscopy, occult GI bleeding, which we discussed in our recent uh, Sunday mock test. Out of all, is the motor score, which is considered very sensitive component, most useful and accurate in the GCS uh, EMV scoring. Evening primrose cyclical mastalgia, everybody knows it. Ah, how many answer ultrasound versus FNAC for solitary thyroid uh, nodule? Yeah? FNAC or ultrasound? You all agree with? FNAC, very good. So we do initially TSH, if it is suppressed, then nodule is hyperfunctioning and it is more likely to be a benign nodule. And FNAC is considered to be the investigation of choice for a given non-suppressed uh, thyroid nodule. Levin, Levin shunt is typically used in the case of ascites, where you will be connecting the peritoneal cavity and the superior vena cava to drain the ascites, refractory ascites. The size procedure is typically hepatoportoenterostomy, which is done in the case of the biliary atresia. The most common cause is hypovolemia, responsible for the post-operative hypotension. Ainham is that uh, band of constriction of the interphalangeal joint. It is the local pressure, which is the best way to control the external hemorrhage. And uh, Sangstaken tube is used basically for esophageal variceal control in portal hypertension. Uh, this is a challenging question. Sperm morphology may defect ko kya bolte hai? Teratospermia, more than 40% of abnormally looking NRI sperms are basically called as the teratospermia. Now, in prostatism, what is your answer? Generally, physical examination does not have a role or will not be positive in findings in prostatism. Got me, doctor? So, it's more likely to have A as the answer, I suppose. What is your answer? Anybody other than A or D? Huh? PSA is generally done whenever there are, uh, whenever you are suspect prostatism is fundamentally inflammation of the prostate gland. One of the causes can be because of prostatitis, prostatic enlargement, etc. PSA is a part of evaluation. But generally DRE, digital rectal examination may not be uh, much helpful. We will we'll check uh, what examiner has in mind. Now once more about cyst trunk. Between B and C, what is your choice? Huh? Actually the original cyst trunk's description was excision of central part of hyoid and a cone of tongue muscles up to foramen cecum, removing all the way the entire tract. Along with? Yeah, which includes cyst. Not only of the cyst, but also the path tract. That's why we'll see what examiner gives between B and C. Hmm? Lumbar canal stenosis lead to neurogenic claudication, one of the classical cardinal feature of the lumbar canal stenosis. 
uh, once more not has come. That is sigmoid volvulus may there is a role for non-operative treatment. Everybody knows that. You will try to initially reduce the volvulus non-operatively. So no role means yes role. There is a role. So that becomes the answer. So whenever sigmoid volvulus is there, look whether peritonitis is there or not. No peritonitis do endoscopic decompression. If that is successful, then bowel preparation and stabilize the patient. If it is unsuccessful, then you do semi-elective surgery. And at the time of surgery, look whether viable bowel or non-viable bowel. I leave to you the algorithm of how to manage the sigmoid and cecal volvulus. And surgery is the definitive treatment of sigmoid and the cecal volvulus is what we need to remember. So, doctor, that brings us to the end of the game. Uh, there are at least some five to six things which we need to eagerly look for. What is there in the examiner's key? Uh, and uh, much more eagerly uh, awaited fact is uh, the result where we discover that many people did similar mistakes like us. And uh, we may get surprisingly good rank or hopelessly bad rank. Anything can be there which is not in our hands now. Till this, uh, till yesterday it was in our hands, till morning 10 o'clock, eh? till afternoon 1 o'clock. Eh? So thank you very much. I really appreciate your guts to come and participate in a session. Because knowing mistakes is the most depressive situation. Only thing is if it can palliate a little bit of the depression. I think I am a useful element today. But if it worsened your depression with some more new wrongs discovered, you can always accuse me. Hopelessly I wasted one year of time going to Dr. Murali Bharadwaj. Eh? Uh, because if you succeed, uh, we will advertise. If you fail, you can put, it, uh, put us as a statue for uh, accusing. So, uh, uh, we, we are happy for anything. Eh? Thank you very much, Doctor.